right guys we are back with another one and today we're going to be reviewing the x tool d110 watt laser i just got it in we're going to get it unpacked we're going to check it out put it together and see what the x tool can do so y'all stick around got a lot of great things coming let's get this thing unpacked all right guys we've got everything unpacked and look at x tool man they do a great job of packing everything that's my rotary those are the little feet that raise the machine up there's the machine four pieces just easily assemble um it's my laser and all the stuff that i need to assemble oh my goodness they did a great job so they made sure it came to me very safe easy to take out easy to put back in if you need the you know storage it away but let's put this thing together all right guys so we got laser put together and played with it a little bit too pretty nice uh comes with a 10 watt laser it comes with its own software you have laser box but they have integrated a system to use light burn so that's what i'm using um it has a button so you can start it, it got wi-fi so you can hook everything up and send it through your phone connected to your laser it's cool cool software um i'm not really one of the guys get deep into the specs but i will post them if anyone wants them they'll look be in the description section all the information about this laser but let's see what it can do i've seen everybody do wood so let's jump into canvas so let's go all right guys i have seen every material done with the x tool 10 watt laser except for canvas i don't like that i watched a lot of youtube videos that are amazing detailing everything how to do wood cut wood engrave different material but nobody said canvas so today we're going to change that i'm starting off with a dollar and 25 cent canvas from dollar tree used to be a dollar but hey we're going to turn this dollar and 25 cent canvas into a work of art it's going to be an amazing burn we're going to start off by prepping our canvas with a coat of rust-oleum gloss white we're going to start at the bottom work our way all the way up to the top shake it up very well just a nice overlapping coat go all the way up to the top and then we're going to reverse just a nice thick coat this canvas is kind of rough so got to put a nice thick coat on it there we go we're gonna let this dry for about two two and a half hours and then we're gonna come back and top it off with a coat of rust-oleum gloss black y'all stick around all right guys it's been about two and a half hours worth that now we're gonna put on our coat of rust-oleum gloss black we're gonna start at the bottom work our way all the way up to the top a smooth overlapping coat make sure the paint with up test spray There we go. We're gonna let it dry, and then we're gonna come back and start this amazing burn. Y'all stick around. All right, guys. This is the image that we chose to engrave today using the X Tool D110 watt laser. We're gonna be doing the great actor Denzel Washington, which he is one of my favorite actors. So the first thing we're gonna do to get the image prepped to be engraved is we're gonna go to image, and we're gonna go to scale image. And we're just scaling it so we can make sure it's the size that we need to be engraving on. So it's set a five by six or whatever. So we need it to be an eight by ten. So we just put eight in there. Close enough. We'll unlock, change it to ten. It'll be alright. Not that much of a difference. Alright, gonna hit control and the mouse wheel, make it a little smaller. Now we're gonna be running the bit gimp and plug in on it. Um this program that I'm using right now which I should have introduced first is GIMP. So we're gonna go ahead and the plugin, it costs about, I think about $40, $40. Some people say it's not worth it. In my opinion, it is an amazing program and it's worth it. Um, a lot of other things that are free, other programs that are free, they just don't give you the same quality or the same 
um, I guess you can say power to change different things with the image, but GIMP really gives you a lot of uh, got a lot of different choices. So we're gonna go to the Bit GIMP and plugin. We're gonna be running this. Make sure you select tile. We're gonna have it at a 304 DPI. Um, the image right here is eight by ten, so that's what you put in here. But it's in millimeters. We're gonna hit OK. All right, control will out. All right, we got it as a negative, just like we need. We're gonna go to file, we're gonna go to export as, and we're gonna call it Denzel W. Export, hit replace, export, boom, there we go. Now we're gonna load it into Lightburn, and we're gonna get ready to start this amazing burn. Y'all stick around. All right, guys, so we got the image loaded into Lightburn. Um, the X tool, it comes with a software called LaserBox. Um, it's a great program. I tried it out, but I am familiar with Lightburn, so that's what I chose to use. Um, happy that they integrated Lightburn to work with them. Only difference is uh, the preview. When you preview a Lightburn, it'll tell you three hours and 10 minutes. It might go over about five minutes, so um, the time varies. It's not gonna be exactly the same. Like I said, um, it's just an estimate but it does run a little bit past the software. So the software would say it's complete, but the laser still would be going for about another three to four minutes, just depending on the image. Um, we've been playing with speed and power, and we found out that for canvas painted one layer of white, covered by a second layer of black, um, the best speed and power is 6,000 speed and 33.43 power. So that's right about 180 millimeters per minute per 1% power. Um, that's how I figured it out, played around with it, ran a few tests, found my sweet spot, and I took it from there. So this is my baseline for a white and black painting. Um, I ran it through GIMP, so I'm going to be using Pass Through, and I have Overscan Off. And those are my settings. We're gonna hit preview real quick. Make it big. So it says it's gonna take one hour and 38 minutes and five seconds. So if we hit invert, show it how it's gonna come out. Looking good. Don't worry about the dots and all that stuff. It's gonna come out great. So y'all stick around and enjoy it. Doing Denzel Washington, the great. I appreciate y'all. Y'all stay tuned for this amazing burn. All right, guys, our canvas is dry. We got everything set up. Before we start this amazing burn, I wanna send a shout out to all my subscribers and everybody who has been coming in on my videos and watching my videos. Um, there's a lot of new content coming. I know it's been about two months since I posted my last video. Just been going through a little things here and there, life. Um, but hopefully we got everything on track right now. We're gonna go ahead and hit shift and frame. And make sure we got everything set up. I'm new to it, but it's looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. This is our first time trying Canvas on the X Tool. Uh, we're going to be doing Denzel Washington, as I mentioned earlier. Um, I hope y'all enjoy the video. Um, drop a like and comment at the bottom, and y'all stay tuned. For this amazing burn. I'm gonna go ahead and start it.
wondering what I think of the X-Tool D110 watt laser and I must say it has set the bar very very high and I'm just eager to figure out and to find out what else this X-Tool D110 watt laser can do I mean canvas we can check that off the list this is part one of my review we still have the rotary. We still have to do wood. We have to do a lot of other things. So y'all stay tuned. I just hit 5,500 and around 45 subscribers, but we're on the road to 10,000 subscribers. 10,000 subscribers. So y'all stay tuned. I appreciate y'all. And it only can go up from here. Southern Smoke out.